What do you got there? An iPod? A Kobe? Let go. Alright. Okay, so first and foremost, it is obvious who the winner is. Kobe? No, I'm just playing. Of course, iPod. I mean, it's just probably the best MP3 player out today pretty much does everything so now let's compare and contrast since the iPod doesn't have an external um, external speaker the Kobe is much louder because it has an external speaker right there the iPod touch speaker is pretty good for an internal um, for an internal speaker but the Kobe has an out, out, uh, external speaker, so it's it's much louder than the iPods, and I'm about to show show you that. I'm gonna show the speakers by the video. All right. So they both have video play playability, and they both have good video quality. I'm gonna show the same video on both both players, and I don't think you'll be able to see the quality. But you'll, you'll be able to hear the the how loud the speakers are. So pretty good for the iPod internal speaker and here's the Kobe. Probably sounded a little blurry but because it's so loud. And those are the videos. Now, a lot of people have questions about the touch screen of the Kobe. And it's a different touch screen from the iPod Touch. Because the iPod Touch, is a, I think it reads by thermal. So your hands uh, heat. And it's very responsive. But they're different touch screens. And The Kobe's is different. It's a pressure touchscreen. When you touch it, like press on it, is when it reads it. So, and here's your standard menu. And since the touchscreen is not thermal, it goes by pressure. Press it, then it goes back. Yeah. Now because the iPod only reads um, fingers, I mean heat or whatever, uh, if you're in the cold, you're going to have to freeze your hands because I just put the gloves on and yeah, it's not going to work. You have to press like really hard, which I don't recommend. It's not worth it. You better freeze your hands or get a stylus that works for the iPod, but with with gloves to warm your hands in the cold it's not gonna work, it's not gonna be responsive since the Kobe's pressure it will work, see? it's not, it doesn't read, uh, it doesn't read by thermal energy it works by pressure, so when you push it that's when it reads it so, like I said about the touch screens this one's pressure let me pull out the stylus. Yeah, and a lot of people ask me on the Kobe, do I, do I have to use a stylus, the pen? And no, I don't. As you can see, I'll turn it on with my finger right now. See, you could use your finger. It's just that it gives you the stylus because most people don't like to have fingerprints on their screen. So they gave you this. Now, since the screens are different, the stylus, this stylus will work on the Kobe. You can see, 
can't really see because it's too bright but and when I try it on the iPod touch I just try to slide to unlock with the stylus yeah I'm gonna be here all day it won't work the read finger or uh, thermal there are some styluses you can buy for the iPod uh, they're like more of a soft material but Kobe reads fingers and stylus this one works fingers and some styluses so the screen here's the iPod it's flat flat like the screen's flat along with the panel and this one is like a little sunk in it goes uh, it's like under the panel so I think the iPod looks better because of that but worst case scenario if you drop it and if it falls anywhere on this side yeah your screen's pretty much has a great chance of being damaged in one way or another because I mean it's flat anywhere it falls it's gonna yeah it's gonna cause some damage while over here since it's sunk in of course it looks worse it doesn't look as cool but if you drop it the screen is basically always protected cause um like unless there's a rock and it lands like that perfectly flat and there's a rock where it could go through the half half inch dimension right here the screen's not gonna get hit there's no angle where the screen can get scratched or hit the floor while the iPod's touch if you drop it the screen is not protected by any means unless you have a of course a gummy thing case protector and that will definitely help everyone should have one of those 